All right. Well, welcome everyone to, um, it's uh, March the 8th. Uh, this is my weekly cooking class. And tonight we're going to be making some really, really uh, delicious things. So I'm going to be making um, my version of uh, buttered chicken, um, healthier, chock full of vegetables. And um, it's not traditional in that way, but I love it that way. And it's then a one dish meal. And then I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, some, you know, um, throw it on and go type meals, like in your instant pot or slow cooker and give you some ideas around that. Um, of course, that aren't things that are normally used in the package. And then I'm going to um, talk about some lemon cookies that you can make with one of our package mixes. So I just want to welcome you all in the class again. I just love that so many of you are watching the recordings. It's unbelievable. And, um, you know, and getting lots of follow up and, um, you know, people saying that it's given them ideas for things they already have in their cupboards um, or they're wanting to try some new things. So that's why I'm here to inspire your time in the kitchen. So um, <clears throat> I've been doing this now for uh, 20, almost 24 years come May, I'll be 24 years. And, um, you know, I love what I do. I love to be able to share um, my love for cooking. I love to make people's time in the kitchen easier and, um, you know, shorter. Um, I know not everybody loves cooking like I do. Um, and some people really love it even more than I do. So what I always say with Epicures, whether you love to cook, hate to cook, or just have to cook there. It's, you know, uh, solves all of that. So, um, and I also love that if you can read, you can cook because pretty much on our packages here, directions on their back. And I always say, do what it says here and you get what it has here. And what I come on these classes to do is to show you different things to make with these packages because I know that you're going to get that recipe with um, the package that you buy so I'm going to give you some other ideas as well along with some kitchen hacks that you can use in your kitchen um, so like I said I've done this for a long time really enjoyed what I'm doing um, it's been a great business through all this craziness and lockdown and all these things because I've been able to go online and do this virtually like I'm doing here. And it's great because I'm reaching so many more people. And uh, obviously Epicure is really, really changing a lot of lives because as I've mentioned in a few other videos, we had 65% growth last year. February was just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, both January and February have been record breaking. So if this is any sign of what's going to happen in 2021, bring it. It's, uh, it's great onward and upward. And um, uh, it is a great um, uh, business to have. Uh, if you know anyone who's looking for something to do online, that they can work around their family. I've been able to, I say um, to a lot of people, be a stay-at-home mom and make an executive income all of my daughter's life and be able to be at her important events. And um, that's been really precious. So like I say, if you know anyone who may be interested in looking at this, I do have referral rewards too. However, this class is open to, um, it's an open class. So uh, if you want to know what the um, referral rewards are, um, you can uh, talk to the consultant that gave you this video recording or um, that invited you here, um, or you can talk directly to me. And if you are a customer of mine, of course I have a customer uh, group, which will be posted into my event. Um, any of the rest of you will be posting into their own events. So again, reach out to the person that brought you here or um, has given you this recording. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. So this is um, just so everyone uh, is clear, this is how a virtual class works. And um, literally to host a class, all I do is give you an online order link and you invite your people to this class, your guests. Um, that's all there is to it. And then I follow up and um, help them to see what they, um, you know, what option they would um, uh, work best for them with Epicure. And, um, or you can just simply do an order collection does not involve uh, the video um, and 
just tell everybody, you know, you're putting in an order and here's the online link. So, so easy. What a great way to take advantage of an opportunity to get your effort here for free. It's like free groceries. So um, we're going to get started on uh, the butter chicken. So this is one of our really delicious. It's an Indian dish. And um, I don't know if any of you have had um, Indian in a restaurant, but butter chicken, it's delicious. It's creamy. Uh, a little more calories in the Epicure version. This one is a um, uh, health up version, like all of our things are, but of course it tastes delicious. And I, I think I like it even better than, than the full, um, full, uh, I don't know what you call it. I don't want to say full fat because I mean, it's not just that there's lots of, <laughs> lots of uh, great things in it, but um, I like it. Um, just as much as the original version. So uh, I want it just to smell. Mm, smells so delicious. So it is like a curry base, uh, yellow curry, um, but it's got other things in it as well that give it a bit of a different taste from a curry. So anyways, um, we're gonna start out. I make this as a one dish meal. And so I'm gonna make my sauce and I'm gonna put, this multi pot on. So I'm gonna make my um, sauce in the multi pot. So it calls for a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna start off by sauteing my onions, and I just have to get. Let me see where things have been put. Okay. So I need my measuring stick as well. So I've got my spatula here. I'm gonna put. I think it calls for a tablespoon, yes, of butter. You know, butter chicken. So they've lightened that up a bit. I think the original version has, um, like, it's in the cup range, the butter, a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna get that melting. So that's about a, that's about a tablespoon. And once we get uh, that heated up, I'm gonna add in some onion. So I have pre-diced it. And of course I love these little prep cups because look at that, all I had to do, um, I prepped it earlier, put the lids on, pull them out of the fridge, pull the lid off. So these have great little lids and they just go on top and they stack in your fridge. So I'm gonna throw this into the pot and when I hear it start to sizzle, I'll give it a stir. There. And I just want to give you a hack with the onion. So I'm just going to put this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing at the stove. So when you're uh, cutting an onion, there's a really, really easy way if you're going to dice it. So of course, you know, you take all the paper off. I'm not going to on this because I want to keep this bit. This was a really large onion. However, you can see the root end. So when you are um, going to dice it, you can take all your paper off, cut off uh, the stem end here, and then you're gonna slice, here, I'll put it down so you can see, slice vertically this way. And then when you dice, you go this way, but you're not gonna slice all the way through because the root end will hold it together for you so it doesn't splay everywhere. So there's a little kitchen hack around dicing your onions. Um, so just cut it vertically and then dice this way, that root end will hold it together. So I can hear that this has started to, to cook. I just want to soften my onions. And of course, what I love about Epicure too is if you say, I don't like onion. Okay, well, don't add it. Uh, it's not imperative to the dish. I uh, like onion, so I did add it. So I'm just going to let that heat for a minute and then look at the rest of my instructions here. Um, so it says, and you can do this in the wok. You can do this um, in the multipot like I'm doing it. You can do it in the fry pan. There's lots of ways to cook this, to make the sauce. I'm gonna make it all in the steamer as a one dish meal. However, I'm gonna show you what I do here. So, 
Um, I'm going to throw my seasoning in now. So what you do is you want to heat this up with the onion. So I'm just going to give it a stir. And you'll see it's kind of, I don't know if you can see in there or not. Try and get the light to catch it. It's covered the onions, but it's kind of dry. And in a lot of Indian cooking, this is what you do. It's you're heating the spices there. Maybe you can see that a little bit better. So we're just gonna keep that on there just for a minute. And then it's called for some coconut milk. This is the best coconut milk. It's Thai kitchen. I don't know why it's different, but it just has such a nicer flavor than the canned varieties. You can get it in a can as well. So I'm just going to measure this out. So it says a 14 ounce can. When you buy a Tetra Pak, 14 ounce can is um, 350 mils, which of course, uh, or three, uh, two times three quarters of a cup, so a cup and a half. So I just do it in our prep bowl and I measure right in there. So, all right. So this is kind of, you, you get it so it's, they say that the spices sweat a little bit and I can, I can smell them. So I'm gonna add in one coconut milk and then I'll just fill this up again. Another three quarters of a cup, add that in. And I've stirred it all together. So now it's, oh, this, the fragrance is so wonderful. This is what I do miss about the live classes because if, if you could smell this, so good. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna leave it on the heat. We want it to come to a boil. The other thing it calls for is a half a cup of crushed tomato, which is like a tomato sauce. And I buy the big cans and then what I do is I take our Epicure ice mold. Trying to, you know, I need to get some undercut covered lighting here. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. These are half cup um, portions. And what I do is I take a big can and then I divide it into the half cup portions. And then I pop them out of here because it's a silicone um, mold. And I put them into a Ziploc bag. And that's an exactly a half cup of tomato sauce, you can do this with crushed tomatoes that I use for my butter chicken. And I just pop it in my freezer and they're ready to pull out. And it maybe only took 20 minutes for that to, to uh, thaw. So I'm gonna add that into our sauce. And that just, it kind of warms the sauce. Doesn't really taste tomato-y, but <clears throat> I find I like it better with it, but again, Modify as you like. So I'm just gonna let this come to a boil. And while we're doing that, I've got broccoli and beans and chicken. And of course I've pre-cut the chicken. These are our four cut prep bowls, those beautiful lids. Cause of course I wanted to keep it in the fridge up until we were um, ready to use it. In the class here. So this is getting ready to boil. I just want to do it in there to thicken the sauce because then you'll see what I do with it. So I've got my chicken here. I'm going to put that into my steamer and the extra chicken juice of course because that just becomes chicken stock. So I've got it all in my steamer. I'm going to throw my steamer into the microwave, I just have to grab out my lid here, into the microwave, and I'm going to give that, oh, about three minutes. Meats do not take long to cook in a steamer at all. So I'm anticipating it'll take about six minutes total. My broccoli is going to take about three minutes. I like it tender crisp. Then I have my little green beans. So couple of hacks around broccoli. So um, or I'll start with the green beans. So with the green beans, um, I use my scissors to cut them up. So I cut the ends off, 
kind of line them all up in my hand, cut the ends off, and then I cut them into little bits. It's super quick, super simple, and you don't have to try and line them up in the board and cut them and have them going everywhere. Broccoli. So the, the neat thing about broccoli is you can cut it into, you know, the, the florets, but don't waste the stem. A lot of people go, oh, you can't eat that part. And you can. So you're going to cut a chunk off of it where, where you start feeling that it's tender. And then you just take a peeler. Um, I have the Epicure Y peeler on the way. I hear it's the best thing. Anyways, and take a peeler and peel it and then dice it up. Um, it's actually uh, really great and, it, and it's super crispy in uh, a dish. So we've got that. I'm just going to see how we're doing for getting our sauce ready. And I've lost my spatula. Oh, there we go. I dropped it in the sink. I better give it a rinse. Okay. So this is just coming to a boil. My house smells delicious. And traditionally, you would make this just with onion and chicken. And then you could put it over rice. You could have uh, some sort of a vegetable on the side. I like it as one, one big dish meal. I love that sauce to get into the broccoli. And then um, we put it over riced cauliflower, but you could also use um, rice. And I'm gonna post a recipe to make rice in the um, uh, cooker, in the steamer. Okay, so this is boiling. It's pretty much, I've got a convection um, stove, or a, you know, a ceramic cup. I just turn it off and it'll, it'll boil for a few more minutes and it's perfect. We'll be perfectly done. So we've got 30 more seconds on our chicken. And um, uh, just a couple of other, um, things with the uh, butter chicken too, you could make it all vegetables. So all of the Epicure dishes can be made vegan too. So just use um, tofu. If you don't like tofu, just use vegetables. So I could have just done the broccoli and the green beans, maybe some cauliflower, whole, you know, cauliflower florets and um, with the beautiful sauce and it would be delicious. So that's what I love about these. And not only that is that they're $3 a serving. I don't know if any of you use meal delivery services, but they can be anywhere from nine to $11 per serving. And that's prepared to prepared. And um, the neat thing is you can order this comes direct to your door. And you can also order groceries online now. So that can all come direct to your car. You just have to pull into their little pickup slot. And they also have delivery service where they will actually deliver it right to your door too. So you could um, do that. And what I love about um, these groceries with uh, the pandemic and stuff, everything is super, super fresh. They want you to order online and they want you to come back. So they, it's not like they give you the, you know, um, older expired type stuff. They want you to be happy. So I've partially cooked our chicken here and I'm going to show you this. Go. So I'm just going to give it a stir. There we are. So the chicken and it's partially cooked. I, uh, It'll need it just a couple of more minutes. And then there's lots of chicken juice in the bottom. I'm leaving that in there. That is chicken stock, fresh chicken stock. So I'm gonna throw in the green beans and the broccoli. I'm gonna give it a stir. There we go. And then pretty much put the lid back on. I'm gonna throw it in there for about another three minutes. Okay. So what do we now? So there's three, this is six. Okay. Oops, no, wait a minute. Stop. Three minutes. Stop. Three minutes. Okay. And then our sauce is wonderfully thickened. I'm just gonna grab 
our Epicure whisk here. Give it a stir. It's nice, fragrant, bright orange color. Oh, it smells so warm and buttery and delicious. So that's ready to go. And we'll wait for that to cook. And pretty much dinner is ready. And in another steamer, I uh, would be doing up the rice, or if you have a rice cooker, you could also do it in there if you don't have two steamers, or you can pre-do the rice, put it into a prep bowl, and then spoon some onto a plate, reheat it in your microwave when you're ready to eat it. So does anybody have any questions on this recipe? That's how super simple. I don't even know, we're not even at 20 minutes and we could be sitting down to eat. So that's just how fast it would be in a wok or a stir fry in a, a frying pan. It's just about as fast. So the next thing I want to talk about is some recipes that I've tried in the last week or so. So um, Instapot or slow cooker, whatever you're more comfortable with or either or both. But here's the thing. So last week, um, my fiance, he picked up a, um, you know, a blade, like a blade roast or a, you know, a one of the cheaper cuts. This meant to go into a slow cooker. And he, he brought it home and he said, oh, this was on special. And I said, well, is this a hint that <laughs> this is what you would like? And he was like, yeah. So I thought, hmm, because I used to use our Epicure French onion and, um, uh, of course, the French onion is discontinued at the moment. So I'm like, what can I use? And I'm like, wait a minute. I knew one of the things that has the French onion components in it. So I grabbed myself a pack of the classic meatloaf seasoning, cut the top off. I put a cup of liquid into my um, instant pot. I did put it on slow cook because we were going out for the day. So that way I knew it would be ready by the time we got home. I put it on for six hours. However, you could do instant pot settings as well if you um, were making it. And I think, you know, you can do it in 45 minutes or something like that. But anyways, just follow your directions on how to make pot roast. But so a cup of liquid and the seasoning. And then um, I chopped some mushrooms in there. Um, I could have, I suppose, thrown in some potatoes or carrots, you know, um, roast vegetables that you want around that. Um, if you're just slow cooking it for the six hours, of course, you'd put those in maybe the last hour. And then when it was done, all I did is I pulled out my roast. I covered it with um, tin foil, keep it warm, kept pouring the uh, juices off back into my steamer, put it in the saute mode, added a package of our wintry mushroom soup mix, and let it come to a boil. It thickens beautifully into a mushroom beef gravy. So good. So here's the other thing you could make with that is, um, I don't know if any of you ever tried um, uh, pork chops with uh, mushroom gravy. So same thing. So what you're going to do, season your pork chops, so salt and pepper, that kind of thing. I did that with my roast, put some beef and steak on it and whatnot. Um, I love the rosemary garlic on pork. Um, it's really, really nice fragrance. It's got a, um, uh, a nice uh, blend of flavors. And um, put that on top of the uh, pork chops or uh, pork shoulder or whatever you want to uh, make. And a cup of water, <coughs> excuse me, and then um, with the spices in there, and then I don't, I don't add anything in. And then the same process, when I pull them out, once they're done, put them onto a plate with a, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I just need to grab a glass of water. I've had a chicle on my throat today, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, so, um, and then of course, when you pull everything out, same thing, put it on saute mode, add the wintry mushroom soup mix. It'll turn it into, and it'll all have all the juices um, from the pork kicking in it, turn it into a beautiful mushroom gravy with that um, um, pork juices in there. 
So those are some ideas. We have so many things that fare well in instant pot or slow cookers. And, um, you know, you want to kind of do a couple of those things because spring's coming and then we'll be like slow cooking that we're into spring. But uh, anyway, so those are some ideas around that. I'm going to pull out our butter chicken mixture here. Oh, it's perfect. 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 Okay. So I'm going to give it a, a mix. My chicken is now cooked. It looks wonderful. And um, the broccoli is perfect. I can tell by its color. And that's the nice thing about cooking your vegetables in a steamer is because it is, um, uh, they retain all of their nutrients uh, a lot more than they would if they're boiled in water. And you'll, you can tell that by the bright colors that they come out. Corn on the cob in here, in this big steamer, you can do eight corns on the cob, like, you know, the smaller ones, or you could um, uh, cut them in half as well. And it's one minute per cob. And it comes out bright yellow, delicious. You haven't boiled all the flavor out of it. Lots of great vegetables. Nice, the green beans are nice and firm. So what I'm gonna do, and I just wanted to make sure with the veggies, there wasn't too much liquid in here, which there's not. And I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna just, I've got my steamer here. I'm just gonna pour my sauce over top and that I thickened in my pot. There we go. The other thing you can do too is, not, is make the sauce in um, the steamer and then um, add your chicken in, cook it in the sauce and then add your vegetables in. You can also do that. I just like to do it um, both ways. Like I'm showing you the versatility of the multi-pot too. Okay, so voila, there you are, your buttered chicken. It's got a beautiful creamy sauce on it. Lots of nutrients in there. Any juice liquid that did come out of the chicken or the vegetables is in there. This is my dinner um, for me and my uh, fella tomorrow night. So I'm just gonna put the lid on it. And all we're gonna have to do is dish ourselves out a bowl and uh, heat it up. So dinner is ready. The last thing I want to finish with is more about the luscious lemon curd. So not only can you make lemon tarts like you see on the front and that's the recipe on the back, um, super simple. You just um, uh, make up, you know, the pre-done tarts or if you're really good in the kitchen, you could make them from scratch. And then you put your, make your uh, lemon custard in that multi-pot or in the microwave. It takes no time at all. It's like um, ooh, two minutes after you mix it all together. So not long. And it's the most deliciously sweet tart lemon curd you've ever tasted. And you can also make, um, I've posted recipes for a lemon cheesecake with it. You can um, do lemon loaf. I've posted recipes for that. And I'm gonna post these again, because really, if you haven't tried them yet, you've missed out. And the latest one is lemon cookies. So if you like a lemon cookie, I'm gonna post a, a recipe on how to make those. I would make them, but then I would eat them all. So I'm not, I'm gonna keep this safely in the bag, but you can also make lemon chicken out of this. So if you like like an Asian sweet and sour lemon chicken, also got a recipe for that. So I will be sure to post those recipes as well. And just wanted to remind you of this particular yummy, uh, yummy uh, dessert option. And of course, as you know, all the Epicure dessert options are a quarter of the sugar. So it's a healthed up version, just like our buttered chicken and just like all of our other products. So I just want to thank you all for coming on um, again tonight. Uh, don't forget if you know anyone who might be interested in starting with us um, and joining the Epicure community as a business person, uh, I have information on that. And there's also a special um, uh, a special on uh, the 
uh, business kit this month that you can ask the person that gave you this video about um, or in the event you're in, it'll be posted. And also don't forget, great opportunity. Any of you that want free groceries, take advantage. Ask your consultant for an order link. It's so super simple, easy peasy. So anyway, thanks again for all of you coming on. I will see you next Monday. Thanks, Tara. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sorry, was there any questions? Where's the easiest place to find the recipes? Um, so what I do is I post them into my group and um, depending on, uh, I know, I mean, you, I invited you here, Gail, but uh, for people that um, aren't in my events, then you'd go to the event you were part of and they're all posted in there. You can also um, go and search at epicure.com mm -hmm. and you would put like, for instance, you put luscious lemon curd in there and all the recipes I've talked about would come up or, um, you know, butter chicken. I, I can't remember if it's called a uh, vegged up butter chicken, something like that. But anyways, and in the butter chicken, really all I've done is add vegetables to it mm -hmm. and uh, to make it a one dish meal. Yeah, it, I, I go to the epicure.com for recipes quite regularly. I, know, and I, I can't just, see you all. Okay, oh. there we are. <laughs> <laughs> just wondered if, if you were making your own recipes and uh, if they, but if they're on epicure.com, that's easy yeah. to find. And some of them are consultant posted. And if you can't find something, yeah, just message me. That's part of my service is <laughs> I will find you that recipe and message it right back to you. So, Okay, sounds great. Okay, thanks, ladies. Thanks a lot. Okay, good night. Bye.